Why are you taking videos? I'm asking you who you are. Why? You don't need to know who I am. Why are you taking videos? You need to put that video camera down. We cannot allow you to record in this office, and anybody's pictures that you took, you cannot have for anything. You need to delete them off of there. Not this is public a public service. Building. They're employees. They're public. They work for the public, which means they're but public servants. They're not service. public servants. They're employees, sir. Don't make it sound degrading. This and Elizabeth. is against the law for you to be in here recording. It's against the law. Yes, it what is. What law would that be? It's disruption of public service. No, that's not true. You're not coming back in to record. Our security officer will have you removed. Hey, what's up guys? The Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we're at the Department of Motor Vehicle here in Jefferson County, West Virginia. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're just getting inside the Department of Motor Vehicle here. Let's take a look around. Over here we have Everett Frazier, the commissioner, Jim Justice, governor, and Jimmy Riston, secretary of transportation. Excuse me, ma'am? Oh, no, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. I saw you over here at the driver's testing area. Yeah. Oh, no, ma'am. That's fine. Thank okay. you. I appreciate thank it. You. I don't need help. Like I always said, if you want very fast service at any public agency, just pull out your camera and start recording. Excuse me, sir. Is there a reason why you're recording in here? Is there a reason? Yeah. There sure is. Who are you? I am a floor, floor lead here for the West Virginia DMV. So a supervisor? No, not a supervisor, but floor a lead. floor lead. Okay, and your name? Why? I just like to know who I'm speaking to. Okay, Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Uh -huh. Elizabeth, my name's Sean. Okay. Nice to meet you. I am an independent journalist. I'm just working on a story here at the DMV. Okay. That's what's going on? Yeah. Okay, because we're curious, because you know. Yeah, that's, that's all. Nothing nefarious. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, thanks, Elizabeth. So it looks like a security officer over here going to be coming out to speak to us. Sir, why are you taking videos? Excuse me? Why are you taking videos? Who are you? Why are you taking videos? I'm asking you who you are. Why? Well, you don't need to know who I am. Why are you taking videos? Why well, don't I need to know who I sure do. You're talking to me. I'd like to know who you are. Why? Well, you don't need to know who I am. Are you not a public servant? Why are you taking videos? Man, you can say whatever you like, yeah. Because he's a YouTuber. He's doing this, right? Yeah, you could you could say whatever you want. Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to figure out who I'm just trying to figure out who you are. Well, you're, you don't you're, need to know who I am. Why would that be? I want to know why you're taking videos. This is a public of place. Of course, right? it's a public place. So yeah. To film. Yeah, I'm just. It's in New York, United States constitutional right. That's correct, man. That's but correct. I'm trying. You know more than the law enforcement officer yeah. here, Definitely. unfortunately. Definitely. But thank you for your knowledge. So you're not going to tell me who you are? Guess not. Hi, hey, rude. So this woman over here knows her constitutional rights. Yes, ma'am. You need to put that video camera down. Reliance security. So you're not law enforcement. I thought you were law enforcement. Obviously, you're not. You're part of private you don't security. You know who I am. I do need to know who you are because you're talking to me. Why are you being so rude? Why are you being so rude, sir? Is this how you treat all members of the public? I would hate to think that you treat all m members of the public this way. Sir, we cannot allow you to record in this office and anybody's pictures that you took, you cannot have for anything. You need to delete them off of there. I need to delete yes, sir. off you of cannot, my camera? You cannot have any of this, anything from this office. I just talked to my boss about that. I'm not deleting anything from my camera. These people don't want their fa faces on anything. Who, do, who, who are these people? Any employees in here. Nobody wants their the faces. The public servants. Yes, 
That's exactly right. They didn't know what their face on the internet or anything else. Oh, the public servants that work for the public and not this is a public service, building. They're employees. They're public. They work for the public, which means they're but public they're servants. They're not public servants. They're employees, sir. Don't make it sound degrading. They're employees. There's nothing degrading about being a public they servant. They don't want on there, and I just spoke to my boss, and you're not. And your boss is who? Who's your boss? My boss's name is Richie, and he's in Charleston. Okay. You are not to be recording anything in this building. Of course I can. No, you cannot. Who are you, ma'am? Man, I'm the manager here. You're and the manager? I spoke to my so boss. So another public servant. Yes, we are. We're public servants. There's nothing wrong or degrading. If you think but that's you degrading, that's your problem, not mine. Oh, I, I sure can, and no, I sure will. Of, of course I can, ma'am. What's your name? I'm Lorraine. Lorraine I'm, and Elizabeth. It's against the law for you to be in here recording. It's against the law. Yes, it what is. What law would that be? It's disruption of public service. No, that's not true, yes, it Lorraine. Is. That's not true. Sir, if you have a problem with it, I'm instructed to tell you call the 800 number and you can tell. Oh, I don't need to call anyone, Lorraine. Well, you do not need to be in your recording. You're oh, for sure. I do need to, to be, and, I, and I'm else. going to be. Yes, ma'am. You're not coming back in to record. Our security officer will have you removed. If not, no, your security, your security officer cannot have me removed. Yes, he can. He cannot do that. I'll call the police and we'll see what's going on. You can do that. You can do that. Lorraine is not happy here. She is not happy whatsoever that we are peacefully exercising our constitutional rights. Hey, good to see you again. What's going on? Nothing. Just taking some pictures and video like I did before at the probation office. That's all. You're not bothering the employees? Oh, no. No, I'm, that's not my intention at all. Not at all. I'm just walking around looking at what I could see from public and that's it. Okay. I know a manager did come, come oh. up to me and she was, you know upset she said she spoke to her boss and that i have to delete the footage from my my camera yeah, yeah, we know that's not true. yeah. so um i gotta ask you are you a long island auditor i i am long island audit that's correct okay. my show paul reyes yeah sean yeah yeah I, you look familiar and i was like i know this guy from somewhere <laughs> yeah. I grew up in long island. oh really what yeah. part uh, manorville out east. oh cool yeah i'm i'm from center reach area center reach. smith town you know the smith haven mall suffolk yeah. county yeah, smith, yeah haven. smith haven mall yeah around there well, you obviously know what your last. Yeah, is. just okay. I just, it's about education, sir. Oh, I understand. It's about education. No, it's understand. about educating the public, yeah. and uh, you know, see how they treat me, and they they didn't do so well here. They were very rude, and you well, know, let me trying to talk to them a little bit. Um, yeah. Did you have the tacos? Um, I'm sorry. Did you have the tacos? Not yet. Not yet. I didn't have the tacos yet. No. Well, let me. Uh, so you, me, so you are the, the um, you, lieutenant for the Jefferson County. We're sheriff's still office. the sheriff's office. Yes, sir. For Jefferson County? Yes, sir. So we're still in Jefferson County, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just um, wanted to come out here and what see. What brought this on, Buffalo Boy? I don't know. Who is, who is that? Is that the... Um, the two, a three? Yeah. So I saw that in the city hall that he was, again, there's certain people that I don't agree. I think he's more of, um, he's, he is, he's self-proclaimed, he's like a prank channel. He's like a comedian. He's a prank channel, yeah. you know. Um, does it mean he has any less rights than anybody else? No. Yeah. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't go about it that way and... But again, he's a prank channel. That's what he does, and he still has rights. Yep. So I saw that. You know, I just wanted to make sure that you know we had the right education here, and that sure. no, respect the people's rights and being professional with people. And that's it. I'm not trying to bother anybody at all. I understand. Not at all, sir. Uh, let me go uh, talk to the manager. Yeah, please. My name's Lorraine. Just, you know, Lorraine. Yeah. Hey, Lieutenant. So we're good to go. Um, the uh, I explained to her that you're within your rights to, and she agrees. You know, film uh, in a public space. Um, where it's a kind of gray area, the only thing would be if you kind of walk up to windows while people are doing business. Yeah, there's a I agree. I being, agree that's a gray area, and yeah. that's why I don't I don't go and you know do that. You mm -hmm. know, I think people. I, my job is not to harass anyone. It's just to peacefully exercise my rights. If you've seen any of my videos, you know you. I've worked with law enforcement before. Like mm -hmm. you know, uh, I'm not anti law enforcement in any way. I'm. You know, yeah. I'm not just, I'm for transparency and accountability for the government. That's all. Yeah, no, I got you. And the only gray area would be if, like, by getting close, it disrupts yeah. you know, the whole, what's that code, uh, disruption of government process. Yeah. So we don't want to even get close to that, which no. doesn't look like you are. No, not at all. Um, and then just be mindful of people's personal information if they're writing stuff down, trying not yeah. to do that if you can. I mean, you're, you're in public space, you can film, but you know yeah. what I mean. And you're, you're very... Again, that's not my intention. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not the guy that says, well, you know, it's their... You know, technically, it's their job to protect the information I, from me in I public, but I don't like to, you know, right, I'm yeah. not trying to be an a-hole. <laughs> I'm not trying to just say, hey, I, just because I can film you, like, for example, like children and stuff, just because I can doesn't mean I do. 
you know, I try and be a little respectful towards people and just let them know, you know, it's just about education. Again, now that now that she was educated and everything, you know, I'll be on my way and, you know, we'll have my tacos and everything. What was your name again, Lieutenant? Steve. Steve? Steve Holtz. Oh, I'm sorry? Holtz. Holtz. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, you don't have it. Steve Holtz, Lieutenant Holtz. So, um... The closest we have the New York pizza is right up here too. I saw that it said New York pizza, and I was gonna try it because I was like, I don't believe it. Because a lot of people say, you know, I've, I've been all over the country, and they all seem to say New York, and then it's like, hmm. This is a really nice Italian. It's good. That, oh yeah, they're, they're from Jersey actually. Yeah, I, I know there's a place um, in. I have some family in Florida, and there they have there's this uh, guy from New York, Long Island, from Medford, and he went to school with my sister. He actually opened up a pizza place down there, and he imports the water. No kid from New York so it's like very close to like New York we also have a bakery that's the secret the water shop, um, over by the I don't know if you pass Walmart on your yeah way. it's in that shopping center um, it's called uh, Royal Licious okay man they have the closest bagels I've ever they make the bagels every day in there oh they, nice uh, um, yeah you know Long have, Island uh, like we're known for bagels yeah. pizza can't get a good egg sandwich here either yeah bacon egg and cheese salt pepper ketchup <laughs> yeah all right, you need anything from me at all? No, thanks, all Lieutenant. Right, it was right. nice meeting you. Yes, Thank sir. you so much. You stay safe, okay? Thanks. All right, guys, so we're going to be hanging out for a few more minutes, and then we're going to be getting out of here. You see the security guard's face here. He is not happy. And I'm sure Lorraine, the manager, is not happy. But we'll request the body camera footage. Like I said, we'll hang out here for a couple more minutes, and then we're going to be getting out of here. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the Department of Motor Vehicle here in Jefferson County, West Virginia. So started off really rough with... Lorraine and Elizabeth, the supervisor and manager here, saying that we couldn't record, that I needed to delete my footage right away because it is against some sort of law here in West Virginia, and that I was interrupting governmental proceedings and processes here at the Department of Motor Vehicle. We all know that's all BS. That is not true. There is no law against recording in publicly accessible areas. It is our constitutional right under the First Amendment of freedom of press. But she was Lorraine was given bad information from her manager in Charleston you know that's just the way it is she got bad information hopefully she's able to educate her manager in the capital and that there is no law preventing us from recording I do not have to delete my footage where do people get off saying that you have to delete your footage this is my property I don't have to delete anything public servants is not a derogatory term it is just what they are they are public servants I would never speak in a derogatory manner towards anyone. I don't think of them less than, you know, me because they're public servants. That's just what they are. They're here to serve the public, you know, nothing derogatory about it. That's how you take it. That's how you take it. Um, and a lot of people do take it that way for some reason. You're in public service, but that means you're a public servant. It's an honorable job if you do it correctly and you're professional and you respect the public's rights and treat them with respect, right? Security guard here, definitely big time fail with him, wouldn't identify himself, escalated the situation, definitely shouldn't be carrying a gun in my opinion. I don't even understand how he got his job just based on his poor attitude and how he talks to people, not identifying himself, no de-escalation. But again, I don't even understand why people, security for that matter is needed armed security is needed at the Department of Motor Vehicle. What's going on in the Department of Motor Vehicle that we need armed security? But there's not armed security at every school, but we, every single Department of Motor Vehicle I go to has armed security. I don't understand. That's the difference is that the government wants to protect themselves, protect their own privacy, but they don't care about the people. We the people. And that's an issue. Lastly, Lieutenant Holt. Amazing. He was the one that responded to our video at the probation office. Amazing officer. He says that he watches our videos. He's seen that uh, 2A Pre, that channel, a prank channel. I don't consider them activists. They they were at the We The People protest, and they do more of prank funny videos, apparently. But, again, there's nothing wrong with prank videos, and you can exercise your constitutional rights in any way. So that's why I came to Charleston, because I wanted to come to Charlestown, because I've realized that the people are getting be treated really badly here. And we need to fix that. We the people need to come here and follow up and make sure that they're being treated correctly. Shout out to Lieutenant Holt for knowing our rights, educating this manager Lorraine. I really appreciate him. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.